you live in a house where things go bump in the night, what do you do if you think your place is possessed? You're about to find out. Not far from the lonely beauty of Half Moon Bay in California is an old restaurant that's under renovation, and some say is haunted. Built in the 1920s, the Moss Beach Distillery was a speakeasy with a dangerous reputation. This is a haunted place. It's a place where people are experiencing someone who has decided to stick around and interact with people. For years, paranormal investigator Lloyd Auerbach has been searching for evidence of a haunting. People call this a, a recording. People call it house memory or place memory. It's the idea that the environment at the local level can hold information pretty much the way videotape does. There's something going on in the environment that holds information. According to local legend, what went on at the distillery was an affair between the piano player and a woman in a blue dress. When her husband caught them together, the lady in blue was found on the beach, stabbed to death. Her husband disappeared. Today, people claim the lady's ghost appears in and around the restaurant. Server Patty McKellar was totaling receipts one night. Uh, all of a sudden, for no apparent reason, three of these uh, credit card books came flying out of the wall with a fair amount of force. And the two of us looked at each other and our hairs kind of stood up. Another witness, contractor Rick Barilick, believes the lady is even haunting the renovation. We had our plumber down there and he came up and told us not to flush the toilets. Just as he said it, a pipe burst. Next thing you know, we hear him screaming, top of his lungs, who flushed the toilets? And like, there was nobody downstairs. We were all upstairs. We enlisted Half Moon Bay police officer Brian Thompson to help us compare investigation techniques. In a case of a murder trial or a murder case, we basically just block off the area, make sure that none of the evidence is tampered with, and then call in a, a detective's unit or a forensics expert to come and collect the evidence. The first police rule, don't disturb the scene. The evidence law enforcement takes is physical evidence, fingerprints, photos, witness statements, anything that's tangible. The investigation rules don't change for a haunting. Again, don't disturb, but do photograph anything in the scene that ghost witnesses describe. The other times that we've been here, where people have claimed to have seen the blue lady, we got some pretty intense magnetic spikes. Once you establish key areas of activity, like where the lady in blue is most frequently seen, then you can use a magnetometer to look for strong magnetic fields around your haunt. You can buy one in any electronic store. Document any unexplainable results that it produces. So if something's haunting you, remember, are there multiple witnesses? Is there other physical evidence? And if so, don't move it, but do photograph it and the area. Study magnetic fields surrounding the site, but check for other explanations, like electrical equipment that may be causing the phenomenon. If you do everything on the list, you just might have a ghost watching over you, but not necessarily as colorful as the lady in blue. She loved the place when she was alive. She loves the place now that she's dead. So she's apparently made her own choice to stick around there.